not just a river, but I can see a whole story of the, of the past generations. You know, I was really curious to go and see the rest of the river. I have to admit, when I entered the room, that I was somehow filled with some undefined expression of being immersed into some new way of technology, being part of a river that actually digitalized. In, in some kind of a, you know, immersed with sound, vision, lasers, and full of audience. All these new technologies brings us to different levels of feelings, and I was part of the joint experience probably with the audience. And I was just joint. It was impressive. Every room, every space had another energy, another story, and I was stuck but enjoyed in the stories. They make a parallel between the, the modern reality touched with the, with the nature, specifically with the river. But I was enjoying a lot at the last moment with the, with the six pictures, actually, and it was very deep and very close connect with the meditation kind of. A, and I found myself also, the beginning was impressive with the, with the water. And uh, it was uh, nice uh, how they actually arrange to impress at the, the beginning and to impress at the end. It's really uh, when I, when I then then I had chance to see the uh, the map, the three D map, and the, yeah, and I tried to imagine that it passed through so many um, different landscapes and different people. So many stories behind it. Are they all combined into one spot in the ocean or they, they are somewhere stored? Where are they? I heard that the water has a memory. So this river memorizes everything that we have in our past as, 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 as an ancestors. I remember in my childhood I had a special spot in this river where I could go and uh, it was by the end of the town and it was very quiet, very peaceful. Ecology wise, this is something that we really need to pay attention, how we take care about the water itself. This is something that it's really important, not just for my country, but for everywhere else in the world. I mean, we should all try to change the societies by changing ourselves first. So this is something that uh, it doesn't happen overnight. We need to think about the consequences really, really deep, where they go and uh, in, in which field we can somehow accomplish our, our duty to fix the problem. So there must be a balance. How it can be achieved, there is no simple answer on this.